uh, the, what I was going to say is now Farouk, if he hasn't been ridden for enough, shall we say, or quite a long time, he will spook at something like that quite badly. Um, if he's been ridden quite a lot, he'll have a little look at it and maybe just carry on with hardly any sideways motion. But it's the same with Apollo. Today he had a little sideways motion when we came upon it. So I was already coming back out of the gallop into the canter in readiness because you come off a lot easier if they're galloping and they spook rather than walking and spook. And when I say spook, I mean they go from here to over there in, in like a jump almost. They just jump across but sideways. And... Uh, at speed, you can, uh, you, they can unseat you, because it's, it's so dramatic sometimes. So you just have to be a little bit aware of that. Now you can just see how sweaty he is now. He's just all his neck's lathered up where the reins are touching him. But I think he's enjoyed this galloping. Well, I know I have. <laughs> a bit of a gallop hound, aren't I? Or a canter fiend. Whichever. So I think we'll do a collected right hand. Was it was I like left handed or right handed last time? I can't think. So I think we'll go right handed, so we're just going to go listen and canter. Slow, no. So of course a bit strong now, so I'm having to use a lot of rain. Slower. Slower. And uh, just a point, if you ever get into that, he's, he's come back now, but if you're ever in that situation and they've taken hold, I don't mean um, when the blood's up and they've uh, bolted, that's a different thing, but if they're strong, like he was then, a little left and right, like that, pulling backwards and forwards, just releases your bit, because they may have clamped it with the teeth, steady, they may have clamped it with the teeth, so you just need to release that bit so that you have contact again and it's just quick little left and right like a little scissor almost but very gentle if it's a forward going reactive horse um, or that they're good on the bit anyway which Apollo and Farouk are I never use anything other than a snaffle with them but I have ridden x-ray horses in a gag because they, you know they get the blood up and then they've gone so uh, you have, to be, you have to think about what you're using in, in the mouth of a horse. And I know a lot of people like to use um, bitless bridles. Um, I have nothing against people using bitless bridles. I don't use them myself because I prefer a bit. I don't like the thought of if they got too strong, the amount of pressure you'd have to put on the delicate bones of the nose. Don't like that. Don't like that thought at all. So uh, I prefer a bit. I have ridden bitless. Good boy. Now slower the walk. Just you can tell it's really. Um, forward going today, he's really forward going, just, even though he's all like galloping and cantering, he's still forward going in the walk, because he knows he's going home. Slower, just be careful, I'll stuck on it here, steady, slower. remember the name of the video I'm going to tell you about but there's a video on YouTube which I think is one of the best videos I have seen and it's um, a lady jumping a horse he has her off and he goes round and finishes all the jumps all by himself I think that's one of the best videos I've ever seen the horse obviously enjoyed his jumping and um, did really well he didn't have the fences down and he just seemed to know where he was going it was marvelous 
And if I find it, oh well, I just realised the battery's died, so you probably haven't got all of that run. That's a shame. I've just switched on, don't know how long it'll last. Oh, don't you just hate it when your battery runs out? He's rising walk again. God, You'd think he'd be tired after all that country. Must be fitter than I thought, even though he's had two months off. Stand. Good boy. He's foaming at the mouth. Go on. Good boy. Well, it's a good sign. Means he's uh, listening to the bit. Steady, steady. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Well distance, well distance. Good boy. Slow. Slow. Just watch this. Bit steep. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Turn right. Okay, much, much steadier trot now. <laughs> some of that energy, good boy. We never miss an opportunity to empty a full barrow because we have taught the boys to accept the barrow in the horse box with them. As you can see we're stepping back in time with this little video but I thought it might be of interest to you. So this is what we do. So you'll see we put the barrow on there and that is fastened in with the dividing partition. So it can't go anywhere. We used to actually put a bungee on, but it, we don't need to. It doesn't go anywhere. And we've trained the horses up at home to accept that barrow being there. Because, of course, Apollo was fine. But Faruqi was a bit uh, spooky. Because, you know, Faruqi is a spooky. So um, he, he just had to have a little moment just to ascertain that that wasn't going to kill him. And that's what we do. So we can bring one barrow that's full, because they're not all full together, of course, um, down and pick the boys up at the same time. So it just just adds a little bit of um, a bit more time, really, t spare time, because we don't have to come down with two barrows and uh, then take two barrows back. Isn't it funny looking back at the old fencing? I really like the new fencing and the spiel shelter and everything. That's, that's how they go in. So, oh, I can't see now, but the bar prevents the wheelbarrow from coming 
to the side and it can't go forward or back but it can't go to the side either because the bar stops the barrow just in case you know we had a fall uh, an emergency or something we had, to, we had to break hard it won't move The first thing we do is pick the feet out. So you can see how we manage the barrow. It's completely blocked in by that metal rail on the partition. So even in an emergency stop, that barrow's not going anywhere. See how fruit copes very well with that barrow. They're both very shiny at the moment, all that good <laughs> grass. We have now got lights in Apollo stable after the um, lockdown has ended. They've put an outside light on for this area in case we are using that for something during the winter. This is our hay store and miscanthus store which is nice and big now. Um, we will be getting some hay this year's hay very shortly now so that'll be great to get some nice fresh hay in that they deliver and stack which is lovely for us but you can see we've got lights all the way along so that in winter because it gets dark in York for about half past three uh, so we need lights so we can see to get the hay and the miscanthus get this off. I'll just Pooper scooper and Renz is going to modify that to make it better because it's a straight line he's going to put a bend in so that you can actually get it angled angled into the right up to the edge of the horse box because with it being like that you can't get it down and bring it forward so I'll show you what when he's finished because he's already done one so as you can see there's a slight bend to give it that angle so you can get it right up to the edge of the horse box when you're pooper scooping. He did it with a plumber's tool. It's what they use for bending copper pipes so that when you bend the pipe it doesn't kink. So that's what he used and uh, it's made a huge difference and I know it's an only a little, little job but by gum all these little savings of time and effort add up hope you've enjoyed this extra video. Take care. TTFN.